Okay guys, how you doing? I've got five more days till Halloween and I'm gonna be out of town having fun for two of them. So that leaves me with like three days. So I gotta get boogieing on this Franken cube thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the plexiglass and working on Mastercam right now to make that happen. Um, let's see here. Here's a little spider web idea I had. Um, I'm going to go through with it, but I'm not going to engrave it. I'm going to actually use um, some decals on the plexi if I can find them. So, uh, hang on a sec. These parts of glass sides are just a, a square, you know, a rectangle piece of uh, plexiglass with some holes in it is all it is. Um, the only in interesting thing for me really on this cut is I, I got this new cutter um, for my machine and it's made for acrylic. It's a Bosch quarter inch solid carbide two flute acrylic bit and I had to specially order this it's an 85611 M um, I think I special ordered it from Home Depot might have been Lowe's it was one of the two whoever carries Bosch actually I think it's Lowe's so I'm really interested in seeing how it will cut the acrylic I used to use just a regular spiral bit which worked out pretty good, um, but uh, if, if I try to use a small one, like an eighth inch, it just starts melting. So that's about the only interesting thing in this video. Other than that, I'm just going to set up and cut three panels. The first cut is going to be with an eighth inch um, bit. I'm cutting six mounting holes. Well that's it. Looks like it did a pretty clean job. I'm going to have to pull it up here and see what we have. but. Uh, I'm just trying to get the sawdust off of here so I can see if my edge is good. Yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with the edge that this thing's leaving on it. Let me peel some of this plastic back and show you. Gary, there's a hurricane coming in here tomorrow. <laughs> yep, there are houses on boats. vacation well actually just a little mini trip we just went up to Erie there and I'm back now and we've got one day left and I've got to work on Frankie cube all right let's do it okay we have to paint part of the case right away so that we're able to proceed with the rest of this Frankie cube build we've got some hunter green colored you know, spray enamel we're gonna put, uh, paint the front and the back with this and then we're gonna go go with the black for the top and bottom so just going to get a light coat on the top and bottom. 
I'll we'll probably take several coats because this is looking like black to me. We're just going to turn some ventilation on real quick. So we don't die. Boy, that looks black, doesn't it? It is green though, so we're just going to let this dry up a little bit and then come back and spray with another coat. Let's get out of here. Okay, well sorry for the mess. We've been really busy lately. I just wanted to show you this thing I picked up at Harbor Freight. This thing was like 15 bucks. So, an angle grinder. Let's take a look real quick. I've got another angle grinder, but what happened was I actually lost the, the wrench. <laughs> and so, without these wrenches, really, uh, the tool is no good <laughs> and uh, that's why it's a special what happens is um, the wrench fits in there like this and of course this is the part that I, I lost so that's why I ended up buying another one so this is how I was going to cut that aluminum and I thought it was a good deal so I just thought I would show it to you I know most of you probably seen an angle grinder before but You know, if everything fells, I could always read the directions. Oh, I see there's a little button here. It holds that. Let's see if I can... Yeah, there we go. So there's a little red button here that kind of locks it down. Let's see if I can... This, uh, this five-pack of cutting wheels, I think, was around $4. And uh, they're real thin. So they should cut right through that metal. I'm not used to using angle grinders to cut metal, but uh, I went to actually go get another um, blade for my bandsaw. And of course I've got a weird bandsaw that was made by Sears. And um, no one likes to make a 58 and 5 16 or whatever the weird size was. So. I just decided to uh, go this way and see if I can get a straight straight cut on it. So, we're going to take it in the other room and uh, give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to need four supports that are 11 inches tall. I'm going to cut one at a time, just because I'm new to the grinder, I don't want to take my face off. Don't forget your safety glasses. This is a uh, acrylic paint that I got from the uh, artist store. I'm going to use this instead because that spray paint is too smelly. And we've got this hurricane coming in, so um, I put a fan in the window over there, but it's not it's not uh, airing out quick enough. So we're going to go to a roller here, and of course the new brush is a different size. So I'm going to use this little roller, see how it works. Excuse yourself. Okay, this is the top. So.
we've got the window open so that's why you're hearing traffic outside. We got our fan and our rope lighting in, EORN, looks pretty neat, we haven't fired it up yet, but uh, looks, looks like it's going to be pretty good, it fits all the dimensions of the case. So, it wasn't too bad, what do you think, we'll finish her up, I'll be back. Picasso. Booga booga. <laughs> mascot. The shark. The shark mascot. Okay, so we got her painted up. Boy, that was something else. We gotta let her dry and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and finish her up. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Kinda scary, dude. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.